Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Happy Sabbath. We're at my home today with Brother Kyle, and uh, we hopefully you've got your emblems ready. I'm going to read the prayer on the bread, but first Kyle is going to say a prayer to welcome God's Spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Dear Heavenly Father, it's so good to be here this morning to celebrate thy holy sacrament. I ask thy blessing upon all our brothers and sisters. I ask that they have a peaceful and happy day and always remember the reason why we take the sacrament. And I say this in the name of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, thank you, Carl, for that. And uh, we should get ready to partake of the sacrament. Hopefully you've got your emblems ready. As we go into the prayer for the bread, I would like you to bow or kneel or bow your heads so that we can bless the bread. At this time, we welcome all present to Christ's table. We invite all who would participate to do so as an expression of the peace and love of Jesus Christ, in whose name we worship. The Lord's Supper is a sacrament, a time to focus on the life death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As disciples of Christ, we renew our covenants and recommit together to his mission, to grow closer to Jesus Christ, as individuals and as a community, worshipping Jesus Christ through God's Word, the sacraments, ministry, outreach, Kabbalah, and Jubilee. We encourage all that are worthy to receive communion to do so frequently and devoutly. O God, the Eternal Father, we ask Thee in the name of Thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this bread to the souls of all those who partake of it, that they may eat in remembrance of the body of thy Son, and witness unto thee, O God the Eternal Father, that they are willing to take upon them the name of thy Son, and always remember him, and keep his commandments, which he has given them, that they may always have his Spirit to be with them. Amen. Amen. As we come to now, the prayer on the water or the wine. Uh, and Brother Carl's going to say that. If you would like to bow your heads, brothers and sisters, kneel or take any comfortable position you feel comfortable in, I will now say the blessing on the water. O God, the Eternal Father, we ask thee in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this water to the souls of all those who drink of it, that they may do it in remembrance of the blood of thy Son, which was shed for them, that they may witness unto thee, O God the Eternal Father, that they do always remember him, that they may have his Spirit to be with them. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Carl. So, that's our sacrament concluded, and we got, tonight is a, is a Remembrance Day service for all those people that died in wars and who lost their lives in fighting in wars. Uh, and I also think of my, my dad who served as a, a Royal Marine bandsman and my granddad, who was a Royal Marine Commando, uh, we think of them, um, and I guess we didn't know much about my dad's real dad, but he, he could have been a German soldier, or he could have been an RAF pilot. We've got two sort of stories coming from there, so we think of them as well. And I'm sure Kyle's got 
somebody in his family that we remember? Well, this Sunday will be special for me because I remember my great great granddad, who fought in the First World War, was lucky enough to survive the actual carnage. But a few months later, after returning home, he succumbed to the influence of mustard gas. And I'd also like to think of my granddad, who was in the Eighth Army, I think it was, with Montgomery. He was nearly incinerated, getting Conrad's out of a tank. But by the grace of God, he survived, but was severely burned from the legs to the to the waist. I not only think of them, but I also think of all the families that have lost loved ones during countless wars. I think of them on that day as well. And I also remember we're true and full heart, all the brave lads that laid down their lives and never come back to the families. I incorporate all people who fought during the last war and it even includes in the Second World, yes, Jewish people who fought for the UK. So I ask brothers and sisters that you will honour all our fallen and keep them forever sacred in your heart. Amen. Yes, Lord, we think of all those people that died during the First and Second World War and the wars, Vietnam and uh, Korea and all the other ones. and. Those that are fighting in wars now, we think of them, uh, Ukraine, both sides, we are to love our enemies, yes. both sides we pray for, and we pray that hopefully there will be peace in our world. So don't forget, Thursday night is prayer night, you can join us, uh, you can join us on the calendar if uh, David had put the link up for the church website. And also, you can contact me on my email address, which will be put up. So, I'm going to close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. And we ask that your spirit be with us all for the rest of the week. As we come to Remembrance Day, that we remember those people and, and think about people that are fighting in wars now. That there can be peace. There can be love and unity in our world. So, and we can only do that with your help. So we thank you for your love. And I say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shalom. Amen. Shalom, Shalom brothers.